Hey, welcome back air gunners. And I am here today in my backyard garden. And I have the Brokaw Commander here in 22 caliber and it is mounted with an Aztec optic scope. I'm just out here, I'm not shooting today. What I'm doing actually is range finding and making sure the ranges on my scope and my marks are all correct for the next time I go shoot my rifle. But really what I'm here to talk to you about today is not the rifle or the scope, but this bench that I have in front of me. Guys, a solid shooting platform is paramount to you getting the most accuracy out of your equipment. And it is a accessory that you can build yourself in your home shop, in your backyard, or wherever that may be, and an accessory that you're going to get years of enjoyment out of. So I'm really just here to walk you through that process, show you how easy it is, and hopefully encourage a few of you to give it a shot. So enjoy the show, and while you guys are watching, I'm going to finish up here. Started the project off by first measuring each and every part that we're going to need to assemble both the frame as well as the decking across the top of the bench. You'll notice here that we're using treated lumber. You're going to need three 2x6x8s to build the frame, and then you're going to need three 8-foot decking boards to go across the top of the frame to give you a nice wide area to rest all of your equipment and your rifle on. We wanted to cut all the boards to length just to kind of help uh, speed up the assembly process here. We were making quite a few of these today. Uh, I think we had ended up making five in total for the club here. Also, you notice I do double check my cuts quite often, making sure my measurements were right. Didn't want to put anything to waste. Oh yes, you gotta take pictures. That's part of the videoing process here. And one of the pictures I do take is of all of the cut pieces. And I put the number of pieces as well as the sizes on there for you. So you can have just kind of an idea of what you're gonna end up with. Those are all also gonna be listed in the description below. Make sure you do use, oh yeah, looking good there. Make sure you do use treated lumber. That way it will last for a long time because this is going to be out in the weather a lot. When it came time to assemble the frame, I used three inch screws and I also pre-drilled the holes. Again, just to help prevent splitting of the wood and to kind of give it a more professional appearance. The use of the speed square really did help to make sure that the angles were at the 90 degree angle to help with assembly and make sure all those pieces that I cut to length would fit appropriately. You'll notice I'm going to lay out all these decking boards first. Make sure that you have even spacing between them. You'll definitely want to pre-drill the holes here on the decking boards. You'll see all of my uh, wood shavings from when I pre-drilled there. The legs were a little bit difficult, but I was able to use a circular saw and a speed square and take four different cuts, one on each side. And then it would leave a little bit in the middle, go mostly through all of them, and you could break them in half the rest of the way, or use your own saw to do so. Uh, finally, assembly time. You'll notice I had to cut some blocking from the scraps just to make sure everything stayed stable. You'll want to measure those individually just in case something was off because you want a nice tight fit. Well guys, that's just how easy. I finished up range finding the scope, but all marks out perfectly and you got the opportunity to see how to make one of these benches. If you're looking for the instructions or a cut sheet, I'm gonna put all of that in the comment section or the information section below. If you uh, have not yet done so, please take a moment and follow me on Instagram. You can find me at airgun underscore advisor. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button while you're at it. And until next time, make sure your trigger pull stays smooth and your pellets fly straight. We'll see you right here on the Airgun Advisor. <laughs>